Be careful who you call friend. Be careful. <laughs> My friend begged me to go for a hookup with this particular guy. <laughs> she said the guy likes me so much and wanted me to come for home service. <laughs> According to her, the guy doesn't like hotels because his house is 10 times bigger than hotels. <laughs> I accepted to go for the hookup because the money was much. <laughs> she said the guy is willing to pay 500k and I was so much in need of money. <laughs> I was in need of money to take care of my dad's hospital bills. <laughs> so I accepted and left for the guy's house. <laughs> I was so shocked on getting to the guy's house because <laughs> he's so wealthy, he's young and cute and to crown it all, <laughs> he looks responsible. I was surprised to the fact that a responsible young man like this <laughs> would request for a hookup girl when he could easily get himself a responsible girl to get married to and start a family anyways i was already there and i said to myself that i wasn't going to leave that place until i get the money so i went straight to business i went close to touch him but he refused and said he wasn't ready for that yet. <laughs> so he called out a guy to get me a drink. While I was drinking, he stood up and left the room. <laughs> I overheard him asking someone if he added the substance into the drink. <laughs> I didn't read meaning to it because I felt like it wasn't about me. So a message dropped on his phone. I can be so inquisitive. So I took his phone to check the message and I saw why isn't she sleeping yet i became so worried and i started feeling uncomfortable in that environment so immediately i started thinking of how to escape from that house so i decided to pretend as if i was already sleeping i pretended to be in a deep sleep and i felt the young man's presence around me At that point, I already lost my breath because I was swimming in the ocean of fears. The young man stood up and went to the room. And then I took my shoes and my bag and quietly left his room. I was so lucky that he didn't lock the door. <laughs> I ran for my dear life. <sighs> my dear sister, hookup is very, very risky. <laughs> I was so lucky, but you might not be lucky as I was. You might not be lucky, so please let's be very, very careful. On getting home, I heard my friend talking to someone on the phone. And to my greatest surprise, it was that same man who wanted to use me for money rituals. <laughs> Due to their conversations, 
I discovered that my friend actually sold me out to the man. <laughs> when the man told her that I ran away, she promised him that she was going to lock me inside when I get home. Then call him to come and do whatever he wants to do with me. I was so disappointed on hearing that. I stood there in amazement for a while. And I was lost in thought. I would rather have an enemy who admits they hate me instead of a friend who secretly put me down. <laughs> Fake friends are like shadows. <laughs> they follow you in the sun but leaves you in the dark. <laughs> Please guys, let's be careful. Let's be careful of whom we call friends. <laughs>